Hello. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello to the Pisces people out there. Let me see what messages we have for you. God, universe, angels, spirit, God, angels. What do we have for the Pisces people? Okay. Message. Here we go. Okay. Five of Wands, the magician. Okay. So I feel like there's been some type of negativity here um, in your energy. Um, and you've been not you've not been happy with this. You've, you've been discontent or bored with it. It could be a friend that's been negative here, um, or somebody that you consider to be an emperor, but they've been negative and low vibrational, and you've not been having it. So you're, or you've not been having it or happy about it. So you're going to be manifesting your way out of a situation that does not serve you or does not make you happy or emotionally content. Yep, and there you are, the empress. Okay, so or the emperor, but I feel like the empress is. Get trying to get away from the emperor. The emperor is getting on her nerves. Okay, um, yeah, because she's better off by herself. Is what she's feeling like. Um, she's noticing here. This is brand new beginnings. This is giving birth to new life, and, um, being abundant. This is like universal energy. Okay, um, but I do feel like you're restricting yourself here from somebody because you're better off on your own. Is what you've noticed. Okay, so let's see what's going on here for you, Pisces. Most Pisces do work better alone. Okay. Yeah, because somebody's bringing in too much confusion to your life with the Seven of Cups when it comes to this love situation. All right. When it comes to whether they love you or not. Okay. And it's become too much of a burden. Okay. Maybe they love you or they just don't know how to show it or they just, it's something here that makes it confusing. I feel like you've tried to balance the situation out, you've tried to see the potential in it. But it's just, you want something a little bit more structured. You know exactly what you want and just, just, just isn't doing it. Okay, so let's see what's this confusion. Make sure I keep it under five minutes. Yeah, working together in a relationship. Having wishes fulfilled together. It's intuitively you know something about this situation. Okay, this could be your friend, the emperor. You know something intuitively about the situation. Um, but you're still emotionally discontent with what's happening with the communication or messages that you're receiving. So you've decided to restrict yourself here with the strength card. You're not tolerating it. You're not pulling up, putting up with it anymore. Nope. You don't trust this. You ain't dealing with it. You don't like the behavior. Somebody could be sabotaging. Okay, but you want to manifest something that makes you happy. So you're restricting yourself from things you can't trust, things that give you anxiety, or people that hold back, okay? Seven of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Seven of Swords, yeah, because you want the truth. Nothing but the truth will help you, God. You want to put the work into something that's more aligned with you, something that's going to bring you in a victory, something that's going to be a little bit more appreciative of your time and your effort, Okay? Something that does not bring in tower moments. You want to avoid tower moments here with this tower card. You want to get deep. You could be dealing with an air sign here that you are deciding to leave behind. But I just feel like you're feeling better off by yourself because this person does not appreciate you or this is how you see it. Okay. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. You get anxiety. You get anxiety about this person. It could be a Virgo here with the Hermit on the bottom. It could be a Libra with the Justice card. Um, but I do feel like this person makes you feel mentally conflicted or mentally disturbed. You get stressed out about this person. When you reflect on it, it's really, you're better off by yourself. You're better off by yourself than stressing out or dealing with somebody who doesn't appreciate you. And that's what it boils down to when you're reflecting on this Libra energy. Okay, or the Scorpio. Somebody just brings in tower energy. They're too cold, they're too harsh, and you too deep for a too cold and a too harsh person. Okay, so it's just not working out. You know, I feel like you're going to, I do feel like you might have a destiny, but you, and you would like to reconcile with somebody, but you're going to avoid the tower here. It's just not going to be worth it, the tower. Yeah. You're trying to see if this person got love for you or not. Do you love me or not? I just ain't got time to waste. I haven't got time to waste with the seven of pentacles. Are we going to plant this seed or not? Do you love me or not? If not, then I'm out. Okay. So that's what I got for you, Pisces. Thanks for watching.